Let's now review EFT's basic routine called the basic recipe. It's quick, easy to learn, and once you have it handy, it's at your fingertips when required. The first point is called the karate chop point on the side of the hand here, and you tap there with the fingertips of the other hand lightly seven to ten times. Then the remaining points you tap are the spot where your eyebrow meets the bridge of your nose, the side of your eye, under the pupil of your eye, under your nose, under your lower lip, the collarbone point, which is just below and to the side of the center hollow in your chest, so you'll find it over there. And there's a little indentation in your body there. And finally, the underarm point about four inches below your underarm. So, with those basic points in mind, which you can find in the EFT manual, let's go ahead and tap on an issue for practice. Find some part of your body where you can find any kind of physical pain. It could be a bit of a headache, could be nagging back pain, could be shoulder tension, and give that pain a number on a scale of 0 to 10, with 10 being the maximum amount of pain, 0 being minimum pain. So 0 is no pain, 10 is extreme pain, and figure out where it is in your body and what your number is. Now let's craft what's called an EFT, a setup statement. This has two parts. One simply focuses on the problem, the pain. The other is a statement of self-acceptance. I deeply and completely accept myself. You say these two in combination while you tap the karate chop point. So say aloud with me, even though I have this pain, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I have this pain, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I have this pain, I deeply and completely accept myself. Now tap on each of those points with two fingers. This pain. 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 Now take a nice deep breath and hopefully the pain has gone down. If it was a seven, maybe it's now a five or a four or a three or a two. It may have gone on only one point to a six. So let's go ahead and do this again. And now we'll focus on any emotional association you have with the pain. So think back to any event. When did the pain start? What was going on in your life when the pain first began? What have you missed because of the pain? What activities can you not do because of the pain? So pick one event that is associated with the pain. I'll just say the word, this event, but you will say the name of your actual event when I say the event. So tap here and say, even though this event happened, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though this event happened, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though this event happened, I deeply and completely accept myself. This event. 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 You can tap either side. You can tap both sides at the same time if you'd like to. You can alternate tapping side to side, whatever feels most comfortable for you, whichever feels natural for you. Now by now, having done two rounds of EFT, hopefully your number has gone down from wherever it was before to a much lower number. And this is the basic approach you take when using EFT for any emergency. You focus on the issue, you accept yourself, and you tap. 
You accept yourself just the way you are. You don't try to accept yourself in a better future state. You don't say, even when the pain's gone, I'll accept myself. You accept the pain, the problem, the issue, right the way it is right now. So whenever you have a problem, just watch this short video again, tap along with whatever the problem is, and notice your numbers going down.